In this video, you'll discover why apple cider vinegar just simply didn't work for you. It's super frustrating. You see all these major transformations from your friends and people online saying that they started drinking apple cider vinegar, their skin's more clear, you know, they have more energy, they lost a ton of weight, they overall just feel better. And then you, you know, seeing these amazing results, just totally ecstatic. You run to the grocery store, you grab apple cider vinegar, you get home, you start using it for like a week or so, and you see absolutely no results. So it's super frustrating and I get it, but here's the deal. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna teach you why other people are getting results and you're not. And so what we'll do is we'll uncover what you're gonna find in apple cider vinegar and the typical results you'll get. But of course, like I said, why you specifically aren't getting those results. But before we get started, I'm Dr. Zorowski and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, it's a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification and join our notification community. And that way it can help you excel your health and your life. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, apple cider vinegar, what is in it? You know, a lot of people have probably told you it's this magical, you know, concoction that has unicorn tears and all this amazing stuff in it. But the truth is, it's a very simple, simple formula here. You know, it's not very nutrient dense. There's very few things that it has to offer. But if those particular things within it are going to benefit you in a great way because you need it, then you're gonna see great results. So what we're looking at here is it's loaded with acetic acid, lots of probiotics, and lots of enzymes, okay? This is essentially, in a nutshell, what we're working with here when we look at apple cider vinegar. Now let's go ahead and talk about the benefits you get, and of course, why you're not getting those benefits. Now when we look at the benefits, it's gonna help decrease blood sugar. This is what the science is saying. It's gonna help decrease blood sugar, it's gonna help with weight loss, it's going to help with bacteria and pathogens, killing them off within the gut. It's gonna help with pH balance. It also is gonna help improve your heart health. Now let's take a step back and let's look at why you're not getting those same results. Let's look at blood sugar first, okay? Now there's a lot of people out there who have tons of blood sugar instability. Hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, they're all over the place. They eat a meal and their blood sugar shoots through the roof. And so when we look at these people and they start consuming apple cider vinegar, it helps create balance. It helps bring their blood sugar levels down. So if they have a huge blood sugar issue and it, the apple cider vinegar helps bring it down, they're gonna see a huge transformation there. They're gonna see some great results. If you don't have this issue, then by all means, you're not gonna get the result. Next here is weight loss, okay? Now it kind of goes along the same lines as the blood sugar issue. Blood sugar is super high, insulin levels are super high, you're more prone to storing fat in the body. Once you bring down the blood sugar and you bring down the insulin levels, well, you're going to start losing weight. And so all these people who have this metabolic instability, they'll see some great weight loss transformations start to occur. Now here's the deal is you may still have fat on your body but not have metabolic instability. You may not have high blood sugar. You may not have insulin resistance. You may not have high insulin levels in your body. And so if you're trying to lose that extra fat but you don't have these issues occurring, you're likely not gonna see some amazing results from apple cider vinegar. Now, it also is gonna help kill bacteria and pathogens. Now, this is a big problem for a lot of people. Essentially, what this means is you have bacteria in the wrong places in your gut. You also have a lot of pathogens, a lot of overgrowth of bacteria. And when you start consuming apple cider vinegar, it can help reverse this issue. Now, when people have this issue occurring, they're gonna be bloated all the time, a lot of gas, a lot of belching, and they're gonna just you know, feel lethargic quite often. They're gonna pretty much get bloated after most meals. They're gonna get bloated um, you know, when they wake up in the morning. And so here's the deal. Taking apple cider vinegar, if it helps with this issue, you're not only gonna feel so much better, but you may even contribute less bloating to weight loss. And I think a lot of people do that. So when you get less bloating because you have this issue occurring right here, it's not necessarily weight loss, but of course, you know, it makes your stomach shrink down and it makes you feel pretty good about yourself and also makes you feel pretty good in general if that's something you typically have. If you don't have this issue, you're just not gonna get a benefit from drinking apple cider vinegar. Now, pH balance. This is another thing that's a major problem for a lot of people. Too much alkalinity within the gut, they're having heartburn issues, they're having bloating issues because their pancreas isn't being triggered to release enzymes, they're not digesting their food well, they don't feel good. Once again, because drinking apple cider vinegar and they increase the acidity within their gut, they start to create a lot of balance and start to reverse a lot of these issues that they're currently having. And so if your pH is normal within your gut, 
of course, once again, you can't expect to have some type of massive transformation with this issue. And, and I think too, like I said before here, that a lot of people will contribute less bloating to weight loss. Now, next here is improves heart health. And when you start bringing down blood sugar, balancing insulin levels, losing weight, it's going to help balance out your cholesterol. If you never had a cholesterol issue in the first place, you can't expect apple cider vinegar to help balance your cholesterol out. So here's the deal too. For me, I've had some hyperglycemic issues around meals. It meant my blood sugar was going a little bit out of control. And so apple cider vinegar helped there. But in general, apple cider vinegar really does nothing for me. I never had any massive transformation. I never had any serious issues that apple cider vinegar just really changed my life over. And so I drink apple cider vinegar on a regular basis still because guess what? The science is clear. It still helps with this stuff. You can still drink it before and after meals. and It'll help buffer that blood sugar. It's going to still offer you these benefits, but you may not see a massive transformation come out of it. And so always keep that in mind. And also, if you want to learn more about apple cider vinegar, when the best time is to drink it, and really every detail that you need to know about it, I'll put the playlist about apple cider vinegar right up here because I've really covered every different topic on apple cider vinegar in great detail. So Anyway, don't get frustrated if you're not getting some huge transformation with apple cider vinegar. Myself and many other people are not either, but the science is clear. It still offers these benefits. It's just that the people who have issues in these areas are going to see some big transformation, whereas the people who don't are not going to see that transformation. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have further questions, put it in the comment section below and share with me your story about apple cider vinegar and how it helped you. I'd love to know. Now also, if you want to learn more about nutrition, exercise, reversing health conditions, proper supplementation, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time a brand new video comes out. And then also check out my other videos right over here on intermittent fasting. I know you'll love them. And now I'll see you in the next video.